Ron here with Gung Ho Golf. I'm going to show you how to configure your Windows 10 PC to run E6 Connect at its top quality. Uh, unfortunately, this is a common problem. People install the E6 Connect demo. They open up a course like here on the first hole of Asiana and see terribly stuttery graphics like this and think that EC Connect isn't very good. Well, this is easy to fix, assuming you do have a gaming PC with a good GPU. Uh, this is running right now at about a frame rate of 6 or 7 because it's trying to use the integrated graphics card in the computer, even though I've got a very high-end laptop here. So, we are going to close out of E6. I'm just going to hit Alt F4 to close the app. And I'm going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. And what you're going to see on the left here is Manage 3D Settings. It usually comes up to Global Settings. Even though I have it set to uh, default to my NVIDIA GPU, it's not working. So, under Program Settings, uh, you will not see it in this list. The reason I do see E6 Connect here is because I've added it before and I actually set it to use my integrated graphics. Because I used to have it configured properly, of course. So you won't see it here, so you're going to hit this Add button. You won't see it here either because you won't have added it before, so you're going to see where it says Can't Find the Program. We're going to browse for it. So to find it, go to this PC, go to your C drive, Program Files, E6 Golf, E6 Connect, and there it is. We're going to click the Open. And now you will be able to change it to your high performance NVIDIA processor. That's all you have to do. If you want, you can turn on the effects anti aliasing here as well, which I've done in the past. Uh, I can't really tell a big difference, but it can't hurt. Click apply after you've made this change. Now we're going to open up E6 Connect again. So once we've made this change, we should see a big difference in the smoothness and frame rate of the app. So I'm just going to open up that same course, Asiana. This is the one that comes with the def uh, demo version. T off. Alright, I can tell it's smoother already. If we open up here and do a drone flyover, that's more like it, right? That's uh, probably running at about 60 frames per second, at least. The exact frame rate you get will depend on the power of your GPU. Uh, I've heard people are running it with 1050 minimum with good results. Uh, 1060 seems to run it really well. True Golf recommends a 1070. I've actually got a 2080 RTX in this laptop, but uh, now you can see that it's a, indeed a very smooth, good-looking game. So, hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching, and happy golfing.